What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use this app called Spinly on your Windows PC computer to be able to edit some of your photographs directly on your computer. So I'm using the Bluestacks mobile app player. If you'd like to find out how to use Spinly on your Bluestacks app player, I mean on your Windows computer or laptop, I'm using a Windows 8 laptop, then check out uh, my channel, subscribe down below and there's a video that will walk you through how to install this app. So the first step, get out of full screen mode because that will mess up this app. And now you can, this is the home page. As soon as you launch Spinly, you're going to see this. And you can go to your gallery here. And uh, once that pops up, you should be able to access your pictures and photographs from your Windows computer. And hopefully this doesn't mess up on me, but... Let's see, I was actually in Costa Rica this year and I took some really cool sunset photos. So I'm going to open up one of those. Um, that one looks good. We're going to see what we can do with this. All right, there's Spinly open right now. And there is my photograph. So we have some options here at the bottom. We can um, give it an urban style look. Ooh, that looks pretty nice. So, as you can even adjust it so it's you know not too strong, and then click the check mark there, and let's hop back in here and see if we can give this a little bit of a vintage look, possibly. Oh, I like that. Let's see if there's anything better, though. So you can see this is like a quick way to really improve the way your photographs look. Let's see what else they got to offer here. Um, we can hop into... I wish they did a little bit of a better job telling you what all these buttons do, but you, know, you can figure it out. This is contrast probably don't want to mess with contrast too much because I think these are already somewhat edited photos that I have. So a little less brightness looks better I guess. And you can play around with all of these features. So add some warmth to your image or take some out, whatever you want. I'm going to full blast this on warmth. I like, I like the bright orange look. Maybe increase some of the sharpness. Oh, hey, that's interesting. Or you can make it look a little bit blurry. I'll, I'm going to give it, you know, maybe like half sharpness added. And you can even crop down if you like. So let's say I don't like this bottom sandy part that didn't get any of the reflection from the sun. And I just want the shoreline that was hit by the sun. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to crop it. Let's see if I can figure this out. I want to free crop it. Oh, there's a done button at the top. There you go. Just hit done. That should crop the photo for you. I'm guessing. There we go. And let's see. There's some more options here. Oh, cool. So you can add a lot of cool effects. That's a bit over the top for me. I'm not going to go with that one, so... Let's see what we can do with color. Interesting, but not something that I really like. I'm not sure what this button does, but I'm afraid it's going to revert back to the original, so I'm not even going to press it. So once you get a photo that uh, you feel like is finished, you like the result, click the Done button at the top here. And there you go. You have the photo saved to your gallery. And you can easily share it online with your friends by using nearly any social media. You can even click this button here and pick some more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send this to my Windows computer and just save it. Um, save it in my pictures. And I'm going to title it Costa Rica sunset and hit save 
And there you have it. We just edited that photo and saved it to our computer. And now we can do whatever we want with it. So definitely check this app out. It's called Spinly. And if you want to use it on your uh, mobile phone or tablet, that's a great idea too. If you want to edit some of the photos on your computer, then definitely check this out using the Bluestacks app player. Subscribe to our channel. You should be able to find the video that will walk you through how to install and use this app on your computer. And that's it, guys. I hope you enjoy using that. I hope you found this video helpful. You know, leave a like if you did, and leave a comment if you run into any problems. And I'll do my best to get back and help you. So have a great.